Welcome back. All right, so I'll, I, I might as well do this because I keep seeing all the speculation about what the team's going to be called. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and throw that into a video. Now, at the start, I want to mention Raptors. Not on the board because there's a Toronto basketball team named Raptors. In this day and age, if you're going to name your team the same as something from another league, there's copyrights, trademarks, and things to be concerned about. I can't see Salt Lake City slash Utah trying that. And that's the first question. Do they go by Utah? insert name here, or Salt Lake City, insert name here. My guess is, with Salt Lake City being three letters, uh, unless they're going to pick just a one or a really small name, uh, my guess is it's Utah. So you go with the natural beauty of the state of Utah, and you go from there. Now, I, I obviously the most common would be wildlife names. And so I looked up what wildlife are naturally occurring in Utah, because that's important, right? Make sure that it actually happens there. Uh, to this day, a basketball team named Jazz playing out of Utah, it's weird. Um, I understand they didn't start out in Utah, but it's still weird because you don't associate Utah with Jazz necessarily. So, looking at wildlife they have, the first name that pops out to me is Scorpions. Why? So when the Arizona Coyotes came in and they were doing their naming contest, the Coyotes won, Scorpions was second. Scorpions, you can sell various merch with scorpions. I, the, the one thing with that, of course, is the mascot will terrify small children. But um, I mean, you can put little happy, fun eyes on them, but you got to have the big tail. And I mean, it has to have poison in it, right? Anyways, uh, so scorpions, I think could work. It could. Uh, that being said, I, I don't know that that one necessarily goes. Now, spiders, there are a lot of species of spiders that are native to Utah. Uh, a few of which I'd really rather not ever run across. So if I ever go to Utah, um, apparently spiders, lo lots of them. Even like a tarantula I've never seen that apparently is native to the area. That No thanks. And and tarantulas, it, it's it's a bit wordy, but it, it like it, it's a lot of syllables. But that could work as a team name as well. Uh, an elk, that's the state mammal, is the elk. Uh, and I, I think you could make that work. Uh, I have Heartlanders jerseys that show how you can get a really, really nice jersey. Um, and, and yeah, elk could work for them, uh, for Utah. Uh, and Badgers. Badgers, I've seen this one getting mentioned. I think Badgers, obviously the honey badger, the, the meme that it's been for so many years and all that. Uh, but Badgers, they're they're vicious. They're, they're great fighters and all that. And... They are native to Utah, so you could absolutely have the Utah Badgers and go from there. But I like otters too. Now, here obviously have the Erie Otters and the OHL. So again, you get into the whole trademarks, copyrights, and all that. Shouldn't be that confusing though, because you have an OHL team and an NHL team, so shouldn't be a problem. Uh, but the Otters, I, I think that could be a winner. Personally, anyways, I think Utah Otters could go. Uh, Wolverines. There are Wolverines in that state. Wolverines, absolutely, and Wolverines, again, you have this image in your mind of this vicious animal. Um, Wolverines, you could have really fun branding with as well. I think that could work. Uh, so the good news is for Utah, there's a lot of different ways to go, including the state reptile, the Gila Monsters, or Gila Monsters, right? Um, when I was a kid, we called them Gila Monsters, but Gila Monsters, I guess. But at any rate, it's the state reptile. You could just call them the Monsters, keeping in mind... Cleveland Monsters. So you've got already an AHL team with Monsters as name, as a name. So I mean, you could go with the Gila Monsters or Gila Monsters, um, and and you you could go from there with it. But um, I I kind of I kind of like that one. You could maybe change the name a little bit, but yeah. And then there's rattlesnakes. So rattlers, rattlers could work. Uh, the Utah rattlers. The one that I've seen a lot of is miners because there was a lot of mining. I don't know if we want to have a league where you could have a matchup between the Predators and the Miners. Just throwing that out there, probably not the way to go with it. So if that name is top five when they release the top names, no, no, no. Mm -mm. I just, yeah, you you gotta you gotta consider that. Plus, I, I don't know if, if a mining cart makes for a great logo or, um, I mean, mining implements and all that. And just, yeah, nah, I don't think so. 
So then I wanted to put on the board as well the ones that are out there. And the one, obviously, that's gained a lot of traction is Yeti. The Utah Yeti, or Yetis. What is the plural of Yeti? I mean, it's not a real animal anyway, so does it matter? Which brings us to Sasquatch. Not a real animal. I've never seen one. I apparently live in an area where there's supposed to be a lot of them. Um, Harrison Hot Springs up there, they've got, like, you know, it's it's this whole Sasquatch thing and everything, but I've never, never seen one or heard one or anything like that. So um, you could you could have uh, Sasquatch, Yeti, and, I mean, there's, there's Kraken in Seattle. And that's where I do wonder, like, we've got, like, the mythical Kraken. Do you want, like, the mythical Sasquatch or Yeti? Uh, Pioneers has been thrown out there. I think Pioneers could work. Obviously, they'd get shortened down to Nears. You know, you've got the Carolina Hurricanes or the Canes. Be, ah, the Nears are up to... Eh. Anyways, but yeah, the Pioneers, uh, I, I think that could work. But again, you want it to be kind of fun, right? You want it to be kind of fun. Golden Knights ended up being a, a, a fun branding exercise for Vegas. And it looks very Vegas, too, when you got all the glitter and all that with it. Um, Kraken, a lot of fun. Kids, obviously. Um, just the name is a lot of fun. So I don't know if Pioneers has that same same resonance. And then there's Golden Eagles that's got thrown out there a lot. Well, the first problem is Golden. Uh, we already have Golden Knights. I don't think Golden Knights and Golden Eagles is going to work. So I, I don't think the NHL would be keen on that one. Um, and then Eagles is kind of generic as well. Like, there's a lot of different teams named Eagles. Basically, if they were going to go with Eagles, they might as well go with Wildcats. Just Utah Wildcats and just go with that. And, and I've seen, like, people commenting, oh, there's a lot of different, you know, there's mountain lions and stuff like that. So you could go with the Utah Wildcats, one of the most generic names in the history of sports. Uh, but, like, if you went to university, I think there's a 15% chance that your team was named the Wildcats. Um, and even if it wasn't, the nickname could have been Wildcats. Oh, yeah, well, our, our school team's the Bears, but the nickname was Wildcats. So, yeah. Um, but all kidding aside, I don't think Golden Eagles would fly for that reason. I didn't mean that as a pun, but here we are. Uh, Olympians is one I've seen mentioned. Now, obviously, they had the Olympics there before. They're trying to get the Olympics there again. There's a very good chance they will. Um, one thing with that is I wonder if the IOC would be okay with that. And I only say that because, and I understand Olympians, you'd have like the old gods and the Olympians from way back in the day and all that. However, I, I know from when the Olympics were in Vancouver in 2010, they got really kind of antsy about anything Olympic related. If it was in the name, they got upset about it. And so I, I don't know if Olympians is one, and I know it may sound crazy and it may very well be, but the IOC can be kind of a pain. So, like, I was glad when Vancouver didn't get the bid. I was like, thank you, because they're they're a nightmare. Um, but, yeah, Olympians absolutely could be something fun. Some of the branding I saw, though, I thought seems kind of Senators related. Because, of course, you have Spartans on the Senators uh, logo and all that. So, uh, and with their branding. So, you want the team to be something completely different. Uh, Blizzard is a name that's out there. Although they're not too far from the Avalanche, so that'd be two snow-related names that, you know, you've Colorado and Utah, and one's the Avalanche, one's the Blizzard. A good Blizzard can lead to an Avalanche, and Avalanche can't lead to a Blizzard, though. Uh, but yeah, Blizzard, eh, I, I don't know. I guess that could work. I kind of like Stingers. I kind of like Stingers. That one's out there as well. Uh, that is the state insect, is the honeybee. So uh, if you're looking for a tie-in with the state, then elk and stingers might be two of the ones that are um, leading in that. Obviously, there's a Sarnia sting in junior hockey, but if you call this team the stingers, well, you don't have to worry about copyrights and all that. And you could have some fun tie-ins there as well. Um, the one thing with that is stingers, the name of the mascot for the Columbus Blue Jackets. So what's that about? Like you're, <laughs> you, you could potentially have... You know, a team coming in and the mascot suddenly having a, a an issue with his conscience of, I have to cheer for the Blue Jackets because that's my team, but Stingers, and I'm I'm Stinger. So, uh, but Stingers Stingers could work uh, if they can make that work with the mascot name and, and Columbus and all. Not that that's a big deal. It's not a big deal. Fans might get upset if you change Stinger's name just to bring in a team for Utah, but I, I think that could work. I honestly... Of the ones on the board, I'd love to see Badgers. I, I would love to see that one, personally. 
I know Yeti's the one that seems to have got the most traction. There are mock-ups out there of what a Yeti jersey could look like. And yeah, you can make a really cool-looking Yeti jersey. But I, I think that for Utah, something mountain-related, something nature-related makes the most sense. It is a beautiful area around Salt Lake City. The mountains are absolutely breathtaking. And so you want a team name that's going to work with that. I also hope that on the jersey, they find a way to incorporate the mountains the way that the Utah Jazz have done. They also have to do it in a way that it's not going to look similar to what Colorado does, where they have that mountain inspired design at the bottom, right? That little, that, that bump at the, that's, that's your, that's your mountain there on the Colorado jerseys. So we'll see what they do. Uh, it should be fascinating. Obviously they can't use the Coyotes name, which I think is fine. Um, I do agree with people that purple is a good color for the team. Purple, light blue, something like that. Um, one other that's not on the board is, and, and in general, there are various fish that they could use, like catfish could work too, because there are catfish native to that area. There's trout that are native to that area. Something along those lines could work too, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Now, I know all the joking Mormon, yeah, yeah, it's fine. That's great. Yeah, make all the jokes. Uh, but the reality is that the team's going to have a name that I, I, I think could be fun. But let me know your thoughts. Uh, hit like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I, I just thought this was kind of a, a fun video to look at what the names might be. And again, I went through all of the state's various um, species uh, from top to bottom and, and found a lot of insects and spiders and stuff that I'd rather not run across. But it, it's like the centipede's huge. Anyways, uh, it shouldn't that shouldn't be, shouldn't be in existence. But let me know your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for all your support as always. I will talk to you again soon.